What's up guys, Cash Souls back here with another video and right now I'm in my grandpa's garage because we just got back from Cotton Patch and uh, Gator's in here, turned 10 weeks old today. So we're going to let him out and then go into the gate. Drink that. There he goes. Oh yeah, guys, and something else like pretty exciting happened. Yeah, I got these big waders. Oh, some gator waders. Um, size eight regular. I like to put them on. Okay, like I said, they're breathable, but they're also insulated, so they have this kind of like material you see inside of coats and winter jackets. Uh, they have elastic shoulder bands, but these were. What, a lot, they're way too big, and uh, the only complaint I have about them is they didn't come with the like little elastic um, belt like I've seen people have, uh, but otherwise it's got a, uh, a magnetic pocket right here. I don't know if it's waterproof or not. It doesn't feel like there's any drain holes, but it's I know it's probably not waterproof because it, there's no seal. So it's probably waterproof until you get to there. And then another thing I don't like, but it's also, I kind of like it, the inside of the hand warmers is fleece lined. So I'm used to neoprene ones, and when water goes in, it just washes out the little drain hole. And then the drain hole on this one is right here. Anyway, so what I'm upset or <sighs> curious about is what this is gonna like what this is gonna be like once it gets wet um but yeah other than that they're good they have uh good boots on them they're they're actually they seem like they'd be good uh so yeah let's take these off Whew. so right now right now all i'm doing is folding them up so the gator can not get this little teeth on them we're just gonna wrap. Whoop. That was a fail. We're just basically gonna this here. wrap them up just like they came. And we're gonna put them back in the box. Oh, and then I'm gonna come. Y'all probably can't really see. And this is probably not the kind of style of videos that y'all want, but I'm just doing a raw vlog so that I get some more content out. So I'm started. All right, guys. So while Gator is outside, I thought that I would go through what um, his toys and just stuff like that, just ran something random. Um, so today I went into my grandpa's garage, found this little like woven like um, wooden basket type thing. And it fits all of his toys and stuff perfectly. So, first uh, things, and today we got him some new stuff, and I'll go through that. So this is um, it's made by Kong, and it's just like it's basically a little tennis ball inside of here, and there's basically no way to get it out. He just can roll it around, and it makes noise when it rolls. So um, yeah, that's first thing. We're just gonna stick this back here. Next thing. I guess he had this outside because it's kind of dirty. It's like a chicken bone that he got from the vet one time. Uh, doesn't make any sense. It's just like a little stuffed chicken bone thing. This, you would be surprised. Maybe this is one of his favorites. It's a little monkey. Um, my papa, my, well, my grandpa got him. It's got squeakers and everywhere, maybe? Okay. Ooh. The only place that doesn't have it is in the tail huh. so yeah this is one of his favorite he loves to chewing on it uh and actually he's got another piece of what i'm about to show you in the garage it's just a little bit bigger is we went to the stock show fort worth stock show and they had these for sale for like this one was five and the other one was six they're basically just sawed off um deer antler and we thought we'd get them this to chew on the other one's about this big and it's more like white 
Um, I got that for Hank, which y'all have seen Hank in the last video, and probably other videos, I think. Um, but yeah, he Hank doesn't play with him, the biggest dog will take it from him, so I just let Gator play with it, because Gator's primarily in the house. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, I think. Um, oh yeah, and then we got this from today, it's a Kong, and then we bought these treats that you can put in it and, like, roll around, and he's got to figure out how to get them out. He's pretty good at it, he'll step on them and pull it out, which makes it wider so it just comes out. It's a Kong, most of y'all have heard or seen that. And everything in here left is like training wise. So first thing I see, um, this actually came by accident. I don't know if I accidentally added this to the cart, but it's a, as y'all know, we're training to be a duck dog. I mentioned that in the last video. And it's, um, it's a big bumper, what they call bumpers. Basically just a dummy that you throw. Ooh. He grabs it and brings it back to you. And it's weighted and everything. This one is a big one. Like, like, and I bought him two puppy ones like this. And they're both canvas, as you can see. But look at the size difference. I mean, like, you may not, th and he can carry this a little bit. But, like, I want you to just see. Um, size difference, thickness. I mean, they're, and way different ways. This one's just, feels like a bunch of canvas together and this one's got like some side of it y'all can hear it and this one's just so yeah and this one's got a string and so I got on two of these and the reason the string is not on this one is because this one I use the most because as you can see it's more or I don't know if you can really tell because the lighting but this one is way dirtier and what he'll do is if I throw it throw it he'll go get it but he'll play with he'll sit there and play with the string so I'm like Wait, I gotta get him bringing it back to me. So I took the string off, and that works pretty good. So I'll just like it doesn't need to go that far anyway. So let's. Oh, okay, we got this thing. It's this came with those. It's a it's a browning bumper. It's got like kind of that like uh, diamond aluminum pattern, the browning symbol on it. And y'all may be wondering, well, why is it white and black? Well, even though this is like bigger, or whatever, it's made because. When dogs, when dogs, um, when a duck's going down, they just see a flash. And this just helps with the flash because it's white and black. That's what I heard. Uh, the next things are kind of cool. They're called Doking. Hang on, see, I'm reading. Uh, Dokins. Dawkins, Dokins. Dead Fowl Trainer, and they're cool because I'll tell you what happened. So they're ducks. They're fake ducks, but they're um they're made out of what the these are leaves. I wouldn't say rubber, but it's like it's like it's like squishy material. Like, it's hard to explain. Then the head is attached by a screw by a string and I figured out on myself why it's like that. It's like that because when a dog is running it's not just going to be like this or it's just going to be staying there. It's head is going to be flopping up and down. It's a dead duck 90% of the time. Unless you're a bad shot so it's going to be going like this. And I took the thing off this one. I'll show you why it's cool. So and then this one this knob just the black piece alone for this was like an extra dollar or two. I'm not complaining, but that's like crazy that it just doesn't come on it. Anyway. And see, this one I haven't done. This is a teal. That one was a mallard. It's probably teal. This is like teal life size. And that mallard's like. Just, it's just for a mallard. But this is why they're cool. Because they all come with bands. So you can buy like 20 of these and put them on your lanyard. So you shot a bunch of bands until they read on them. But yeah, I, thought, I just thought that was pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, and then he's got pee pads up there, and then he's got treats over there. Uh, but yeah, so ooh, now I gotta put all this back in here. So, put the big one on the bottom, put the two canvas ones, sides usually, just one bot, just in the bottom. So most of the time I just throw them in there, but right now I'm just... Bam, everything.
everything fits perfect. He's, then he's got this little dog bed thing that we bought for him because he ruined his last one. They chewed it up. So now I keep that inside. And those treats that I was talking about. Got pepperoni training treats. And these are the one he really likes. I got them from Petco. They're like chicken flavored dog biscuits. And then got some Kong snacks. But funny story. These will not fit in the Kong. We gotta use these. Cause we See if he wants to go inside yet. Hey. You wanna come inside? No, I can't. You wanna come inside, little black dog? Come on. Hi, Hank. There he is. What are you doing? What are you doing? Sit. Good boy. <laughs> See what I did there? Oh. Oh. Oh, y'all haven't seen him in a while. He's 10 weeks old today. He's a cool little dog. And we actually just got, I just registered him on the computer. Hey, chill. Chill. I'm not even doing nothing. Oh. Oh, what's she gonna do? Oh, you gonna box me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You better jump, boy. Box me, little boy. <sighs> Bruh. As soon as he comes in. What the heck, bro? You had all that time. Dang, kid. We're gonna see if it'll be. Here you want bro? Come here, boy. Alright, we have now moved to the desk. Okay, so I'm just gonna get oh, oh these. They don't taste good. Body scrubbing. Now see. Maybe notice it won't fit unless like I push it. So I mean I could just do that. Squeeze it. So now the only the end hangs out. I love this. Oh. What I got? What I got? Hey, go get it. And that'll keep him busy for about 10 minutes. Guys, dang, what's up with y'all? Y'all been, I mean, duck season's over. Yeah. How was y'all season? Leave in the comment. Uh, trying to get my subscriber count up so you know if anybody who would enjoy these type of videos, tell them to subscribe. Uh, like the video. I'm like he's still going at it in the card pool. Little doggy. <laughs> Come here. Come here. We'll help him out a little bit. Hey. Hey, hey. ready? So good in there. He chews off like the very end. Hey, ready? Come here. Come here. Come here. Sit. Good boy. It's right there. Good boy. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna do it one more time. I just got him registered and everything. He is now Gator Sills. Alright, go have fun with it. Have fun with it. Go get it. So actually, dang, son, you're in my way. Here, look right here. Hey, hey. Okay. So I actually need to do something. I noticed that we don't have any like folders or anything for the dog stuff. So first of all, I need to put all of his American Kennel Club stuff I'm back because I was looking for something. I don't even know what I was looking for. Yeah, so I'm gonna put all this up. And I'm back. That quick little time lapse 
time lapse y'all saw I Loki got so much stuff done. Um, actually, this filing cabinet for my grandpa's business. And so it says dogs. Got AKC, SPCA papers from all the other dogs and everything. Um, and then up here in this top one, I see it didn't have anything, and I opened it. Like, well, there's a lot of bunk space back there, but I don't want to do something back there. And so I saw these, and then I saw the control by a little divider thing right here that you can lift up and move. So then I thought, well, better storage options and put my treats in here. So I'm here, and treats right here, and treats right here. Played with Hank a little bit. I don't know if y'all saw that or not. Messed around a lot over here. Y'all didn't see that. Hey, right, guys, as you see, Gator's pretty tired. I'm pretty tired, too. We're probably about to go catch some Z's. Um, there will most likely be another video tomorrow. It's February 16th. Right now, video will be up on the 17th or tonight. Um, and then expect another video on the 18th, I guess. And I will see y'all later. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Um, follow me on Instagram, CashSills26. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Sills underscore Cash. And I'll see y'all next time. Have a good one.